All right, Bolo Buddies, this video is a vlog style video. I am going to be talking to you about items that sold on Saturday and on eBay. And then I'm also gonna, I, I just, I did the video footage just now and I'm like, still floored. I'm going to show you some big money bolos that some people picked up at my What Not Untangling shows. So they reached out to me. They told me the treasures they found. They gave me permission to share it with you guys. And that's what I'm going to do. So we've got three big money bolos that were pulled out of the untangling. I'm sure there's many, many more that people don't tell me about, but gold and diamonds. What? Oh my goodness. Let me give you a little front view here. Aren't they cute? Oh no, this one fell. This is supposed to be sitting up. That one is from my husband. A lot of these my husband picked up for me. And viewers have sent me some of the other ones and I just love my little wall of owls. All right, you guys, today we are going to have a reseller vlog. I'm gonna show you what sold. All right, so the first item I'm gonna share with you is something that I pick up whenever I see it. All right, we're looking for Tote DD. I, for some reason, I think it's all the way over. Nope, that's E, F, F. Where's DD? <laughs> Where are you, DD? DD, why are you over here? That makes no logical sense. Okay, we are looking for a plush. It sold for $13.64 and the buyer paid shipping. I, if I remember correctly, I got it at the Goodwill bins and I always pick these up if I can find it. Oh, look who says hello. Hi, baby. Say hi. She's like, not interested. Not interested in saying hello. All right, where are you? Or is this you? No, there it is. Have you ever seen these? Uh-oh, oh no, nothing's coming out. I'll have to see if there's an on-off switch. Okay, still waiting on the Lisa Frank to sell. This poor puppy is so sad. Somebody buy me. This is a big money bolo right here. All right, so if you've never seen one of these, ready? Yeah, they're a little different, but they sell. They do sell. The next item I sold for a whopping $5.50 and the buyer paid shipping. I have had this listed for, I'm not sure how many years, but I sold it for that plus shipping. It's a size large. It's a hipster panty. I probably bought, I don't know, 30 to 50 of these in different sizes. And I am almost finally sold out. Got these at a discount store probably had less than a dollar in them and list it multi-quantity and forget it and they just keep selling. All right, Bolo Buddies, now I'm going to show you an example of what a live untangling show looks like over on my whatnot and we're going to go into some of those items that sold and then back to some more eBay items and one of them is a Bolo. I would like to invite all of you over to my Whatnot. Um, if you're not already on Whatnot, you can use my referral link down below and get $15 to shop. It's a great time. The untanglings are a blast. My show tonight is a preloaded show. So if you wanna see how the preloaded shows work, um, you can go over to my Whatnot and click on this. You click on the house and you'll be able to see the items that are gonna be sale for sale tonight. I have 100 items that are gonna be up for auction starting at $5 or less all vintage, all vintage goodness, guys. I hope to see you tonight. Again, grab that referral link and get your $15 to shop. And let's check out what an untangling looks like. Out a little. We, well, let me just give you a little peek. All right, Brandon, what is it? Brandon's like, I don't know what it is. I don't know, it's different. What do you think it is? Hodgepodge. Diamonds, you think it's diamonds? 
Hey, he got 18 karat gold last week, so it might be. Knowing his luck, it might be. He'll be in the next show saying, those were diamonds. That wasn't, um, what did I call it? What did I call it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's diamonds, guys. Rose cut diamonds. Are you kidding me? You're kidding, right? What are you talking about diamonds? They're flat. Oh, they are kind of open in the back. All right, Bolo Buddies, here it is. So he messaged me and they are diamonds. <laughs> so he said, for all of my treasure hunting friends, have you heard of whatnot? Thanks for introducing me to the app, uh, Locker Blocker 20. And it says, whatnot is a live streaming platform where shoppers bid on items for sale the same way they do at an in-person auction house sale. One of my favorite show hosts is Bolo Buddy. She hosts Untangle shows where she literally is going through pounds of jewelry and is selling items on the spot. The fun thing is that she doesn't go through the jewelry first. Well, when this came up and flashed before the screen, I was on a mission to get it because I recognize that it may be what it may be. I received it today and it is natural uncut diamonds. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> there it is. There it is, friends. That is what he found. It is beautiful, right? Look at the sparkle. Let me get it off the, let me get it untangled here and I'll show you. It's, it's on a rope. It looks, uh, like some sort of stone. It's cold. It's on this type of necklace. So I think this is some sort of carved stone, but look how, look how that encases it. Huh. see any markings on it. Let me check this side. Yeah, there's no markings on it. Gold tone. Yeah, and there's two holes in the back. So I don't know what that's all about. And it's just on this type of so I, I don't know if this is the original thing it was on or not. But it's uh, it looks kind of fancy. So the buyer of that item which was the same buyer as the diamonds. Uh, he came in and said that it tested as 18 karat gold. This one was not signed or marked in any way. I said it was gold tone and some sort of stone. And it turned out to be 18 karat gold. And I believe it was Jade. <laughs> what a great pickup, right? All right, so the next item I sold is this, I think it's an Eastern Star. I'll pop up the screenshot and it says 87. And I sold this for $81 and some change. I can't remember how much exactly. It'll be popped up in the screenshot and the buyer paid shipping for that. Just a little teeny tiny pin. This is something that is gonna take the right buyer, list it and forget it. All right, the next item is in this blue tote. It is a keychain. <laughs> So a lot of this is jewelry that's been listed for quite a while. Um, most of my jewelry comes over to Whatnot. I am having a show tonight and everything is uh, vintage jewelry. And this is what it looks like. I'll pop up a screenshot right there. So if you go over to my Whatnot, that is what my thumbnail looks like. So I hope to see you guys tonight at that show. Okay, Bolo Buddies, here is my Whatnot show tonight. This is what a Whatnot preloaded show looks like. All 100 items are preloaded, as you can see. People can go in by clicking on the house, clicking on the auction tab, and they can look at each item. I do have multiple pictures for each item because a lot of times people will come in and they will click on the interested button or they will pre-bid on the item if they cannot make the show. So I try to include 
a lot of pictures, three or four, not 10 or 15 like eBay, but enough to show people what they're getting. Sometimes it's only two, but at least two photos per item. So if you wanna see these items more in depth, go over to my Whatnot Show, click on the house, click the auction tab, and you can go through and look at all the items that are gonna be on my Whatnot Show tonight at 9.18 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All items will start at $5 or less. You can see the prices right there. There are a few items that have some pre-bids. You can see some other items that people have clicked that they're interested in. If you click you are interested in the item, you will get a notification when I start to show that item, I think. That's how I understand it. Same thing if you have a pre-bid on the item. The pre-bid is binding, and if you get outbid, then your bid is void, obviously. So um, if you do a pre-bid, you wanna put in your best and highest. And if you win, you win, you'll get a notification. So that is how that works. If you are interested in checking out my whatnot and you're not already on whatnot, grab that referral link down in the description and get $15 to shop. But let me show you this keychain I sold. Um, I think I had it listed for $45 and some change uh, with my shipping discount. It is, is this the right one? I think this is the right one. It's still in the original packaging. I believe it's vintage. I did look up comps on it and I priced it at 45. That was my sale price. Somebody offered me 35. I countered at 40 and they accepted and the buyer paid shipping. And I just checked my screenshot and this came from the Goodwill bins. It said, I don't even remember picking this up. How crazy is that? I'm sure it was in one of my Goodwill Benz videos. Hey, what are you doing? Are you stuck? <laughs> are you stuck? There you go, turn it on around. Do something else. Okay, so this is some sort of stone or glass, right? This might be another treasure. I have no idea. This is the one that opens like that. Looks old. It's knotted in between. Beautiful. It is a beautiful. So there it is. All right, you guys, we're going to start it at five bucks because I'm crazy like that. Don't sleep on it. It's beautiful. Don't sleep on it. Yeah. So exciting. Never know what you're going to find in the pile. 15 seconds, $5. It's running. It is stunning. And it is cold, cold and knotted in between. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Does anybody know what this is? What uh, this stone is, or is it glass? But the, where'd it go here? Look how it snaps in there. Pretty cool. It's a beauty. And All right, so this is the message I received from the buyer. Hi, Courtney. It's Geek Nurses Treasures. The beautiful carnelian colored poured glass bead necklace I purchased a few days ago from you on whatnot is poured old carnelian colored art glass with an unmarked 14K clasp and 14 karat gold beads worth several hundred. I won't sell. I will add it to my collection. Thanks for continuing to make treasure hunting fun. Patty. So I put here, may I share this screenshot? I can block your name if you prefer. Let me know. Thank you so much for sharing. And she said, you can use my name. Thanks again. Absolutely. So there it is, you guys. How cool is that? All right. This next item is in tote E, which is down there in that corner. So I got to move some totes around. So we're going to move this here. And then we're going to move this here. We do the slide. We do the slide method. Now, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing I probably messaged Flippin' Friends about this doll. And she helped me identify it. I think this, is this her? Yeah, I think this is her. So hold on. I'm going to keep her covered up because she has no clothing. But you can see she has had a haircut so if you look at my title, I put freckles and haircut and you can see the title, but uh, definitely check out Flippin' Friends on Whatnot. She sells vintage Barbie and she has some amazing stuff. So if you are a collector, 
flipping friends on whatnot. This doll right here, um, I sold it for $35 and the buyer paid shipping. I got this out of a <laughs> beat up box of dolls and I have a video about it. I'll try to pop up a screenshot if I can find the video, but Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle bought me a box of dolls and there's a whole story behind it from Donna Bottolino's YouTube channel a couple, maybe even close to two years ago now. This one has been hanging around a little bit, but hey, she's had a haircut and she's still sold for $35 plus shipping. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to ship her. Here's the Barbie. I'm going to roll it up and then I'm going to bubble wrap it and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. I'll be right back. All right, American Bubble Boy bubble wrap. And then... I've got these tubes and these tubes are what the, are in the middle of the bubble wrap. So you see here, this is going to fit inside of this tube and protect it during shipment. That Barbie go. Oh, there it is. And then I would just stick this in a poly mailer and ship it just like that. There it is. Now I'm just going to slap a label on it. So this is one of the poly mailers uh, that is from gyro pack i'm not sure how to say it you guys but i do have a link down in the description they have poly mailers and they have bubble mailers and you can get 10 percent off your first purchase with um, my affiliate link that is in the description and referral code bolo buddies at checkout so that's 10 percent off your first purchase if you guys are looking for poly mailers or bubble mailers uh check that out sit sit show everybody how you sit no, that's not sit. That's lay down, but that's close enough. Hey, good girl. Good job. What are you getting into? Are you finding stuff to put in your mouth? Hey, what are you doing? Can you say hi? You my shipping partner? Are you my shipping partner? All right, we are in the craft tote here. I am looking for something I have had for a very, very long time. And I didn't mark which tote it's in, so I'm assuming I've had it a really, really long time. And it's a cross stitch thingy, so it's more than likely in this tote. There it is. So this sold for $6. I can't even tell you where I got it or what I paid for it. $6 buyer paid shipping. It's just a little Christmas ornaments by Calico. And yeah, it's a little kit. And there it is. Six bucks plus shipping. Did I make a ton of money on it? Nope, but it is a little bread and butter. And it also took a long time to sell. But these items, they do sell some faster than others. We're heading back into the other room where I have the plush because I sold another plush. We're back over here and we're looking for GG right there. And we are looking for a plush. And let's see if we can find it. Here it is. Nope, that's not it. Ah, where is it? I forget what it looks like. I may have to look again because I'm not seeing it. Oh, where are you? Oh, is that it? Nope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, I just looked at the measurements, and it's just an itty-bitty thing, so I may have overlooked it. Are you in here? There it is. It's right there. It's this itty-bitty, itty-bitty. It sold for $18.60. It's by Russ. Look how stinking adorable that is. <laughs> $18.60 plus shipping. What? All right, Bolo Buddies. Thanks so much for being here and thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hope to see you at my Whatnot show tonight. Um, those links are all down in the description that I talked about in the video and it's going to be a good show. We are going to be moving through those 100 vintage jewelry items with the quickness. So I will see you tonight and hopefully I'll see you in the future for an untangling and who knows, you might find gold or diamonds. I mean, what are the odds, right? All three of those. And if you have found something special, let me know, send me a message. I'm excited to hear about your bolo. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.